This morning, Lord, I pray that as we worship today, as we hear the word today, uh, as we just fellowship this morning, God, I pray that you just fill this place with your spirit, Lord. Whatever it is that you need to do in this place, revive, restore, heal, whatever it is, God, I pray that you just start a work in us right this second. We pray all this in your name. Amen, amen. Let's worship. Here we go.
every distraction, every issue, every problem, whatever is going on today, God, I pray that you just, you kick it out of this room right now. God, the devil is fighting today, and I pray that it means that you are at work this morning. You are at work already right now in somebody's heart this morning. And I pray that you just work on them, work on them, and work on them. Tug at their heartstrings, God. Let them know who they are. Let them know they are loved. Let them know they are wanted. God, I pray that you just fill this room.
families in this church right now that are needing miracles. I talked to a family just this week, my wife and I have, of previous youth uh, that we had in our, in our youth group. And they are dealing with some scary things, things that are crippling, in other states to get opinions and, and ideas of what something just may be not even knowing what the issue is something that is scary for them so this song today is uh, is important to me because it, it, it lets me know that those kids that I love they're a brother and sister and they're both dealing with something that is scary it just reminds me that miracle after miracle after miracle, God performs every single day, every day He does. And that we shouldn't be afraid of the things that we get diagnosed with. We shouldn't be scared of this uh, pain that we may be in or worried about what's going to happen to us. If we have the love of Christ on the inside of us, if we are following after Him, with Him as our Savior, He can perform miracles that no one else can, no doctor can, no, no nurse can see, no, no image can find. He can, he can see it, find it, and take it away. And so today I am praying and I am singing for a miracle for those two. So today if you would sing this with me and pray with me for that family, knowing that God more miracles then and he still came today. We're gonna sing this together.
How many of you in this place today are, are needing a miracle? Stretch your hands towards heaven. Father God, we are seeking you. Father, there are people in this room who, who need a touch from heaven. There are people in this room who, who their finances, they, they're up against a wall and they need you to, help, to come through. There are people with with medical things that, that, that just simply can't be solved in our realm. And so we, we seek the kingdom of heaven. Father, there are people that, that relationships have been broken and, and it's going to take a miracle. There are people with hard hearts and for them to be softened, for forgiveness to come to them. There's miracles that need to happen. We are asking in the name of Jesus Christ that miracles will come upon us that your hand would be at work, the divine hand of the almighty God, the creator of all things. We are asking for the for a touch from you. And Lord, we, 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 we don't want to fail to recognize the miracles that have already happened. There are miracles that have gotten us through these doors. There are miracles that have gotten us to the point that we've said yes to you, that, we have, that, that you have become our savior, our salvation. And we are so thankful for all that you've already done in our lives. We love you so much, King. And as Christ said, not my will, but your will be done. We recognize that, that you have a greater plan than any of us can imagine. And so no matter what happens, our trust and faith is in you. We know you can, but no matter what, no matter what, we know you are a King. We love you so much. And all of God's people said, amen.